to love yourself. Any change that anybody wants to do before marrying you, don't mm. expect that. When I stop going to school, I cry. Just tell me, blind boy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me today on Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. I want to say a happy independence to everyone listening and watching the show right now. Of course, the show is live on radio and TV. Deep Waters at Radio 93.7 FM and Silverbed News 24, which you can watch on Star Times, Channel 109, or simply go on YouTube, search for Silverbed N24, click on the live button to watch Nigeria at 63. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the holidays. I hope you're spending with family, friends, and basically just reflecting on our country, Nigeria. Of course, this is a show where we get to have deep, meaningful conversation, and today... We're shaking the waters on Nigeria as part. This is yeah, we're actually having our Independence Day, but we're going to be talking Nigeria, talking about Nigeria's grit and wit. Nigerians are known to be one of the most intelligent people in the world. If I'm not capping, we have the can-do spirit. We have the never say never spirit. But I, sometimes I think about it. This is our never say never spirit. Is it actually a good thing or a bad thing? Because Usually, we are very, very quick to move on from things. We can fight for something, and then the next minute, the next week, we're already, we're already done with it. We see countries fight for justice in some places, and, you know, they, they, can, they can fight for it for decades until they get what they want. But we, once we just go, we're fighting like this. After one, one two weeks, one month, we have already faded away. You know, we're going to talk about Nigeria. The good, the good about us as Nigerians and the bad about us, too. You know, what would you say about Nigerians? What would you want to see differently about Nigerians as the people? We are good people, but, you know, just like anything or anyone in the world, we also have our flaws. You know, we have our flaws. And most importantly, if you check it out, we, 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 we are, we are kind of like hated around the world, you know, for some reasons that we all know are clear to us. But, we're, of course, we're going to talk about it. So feel free to join the conversation. Call in on 0705-993-6937 or 0705-993-7937. We're talking about Nigeria at 63 and we're putting, we're putting the spotlight on Nigerians as the people. What would you like to see differently about our people, Nigeria? What do you like about Nigerians? What makes you proud or makes you a proud Nigerian and Nigerian? And what makes you not a proud Nigerian? Today we're going to be um, you know, literally going deeper and asking ourselves. Yeah, I know the government has their own part to play in all of this. We have the bad eggs in the society, but what part are we playing as individuals in this country to make it better? or was you know why do you always hope for change or why do we always hope for change in the country and then when we are given the opportunity to create that change we are nowhere to be found <laughs> we blame our leaders but when we step into that position we don't do better as nigerians are you a nigerian or a non-nigerian you know what would you like to see differently about your country i hope we'll all be open-minded today to actually have this conversation i hope our hearts are open i hope we'll be able to be uh, we will be vulnerable enough to actually have this conversation because enough of blaming everything around us. We want to look inwards as Nigerians and what we can do better, you know, at Nigeria at 63. And, you know, Nigeria will be 64 again next year. And not to, not to come again next year and start saying that, oh, there's nothing worth celebrating. Because, again, it's not about, you know, the government. It's also about you, the people. And what we are doing as individuals. Nigeria, Nigeria is actually one of the most intelligent people in the world. You see our students doing very well outside the country, being the best graduating students and, and the rest of that. You see them doing very well. You know, why is it that when they, when they are right here in Nigeria, they don't do as much. They don't do very well. Or do they? Do they or do they not? Feel free to join the conversation. Call in on 705 993 
0705-993-7937 or 0705-993-7937 you know um we, we have accommodate we have an accommodating spirit we are friendly we are powerful you see when nigerians make up their mind on you like say remember that time where hilda bassi and all she did the guinness book of records and nigerians started to do their own guinness you know um competition a record back and forth like that even guinness book of records had to go on their twitter and say wow like nigerians we do well like we bombarded their Twitter, bombarded their social media. It was crazy. So anytime we set our minds to do something, we'll do it. We'll do it. So why are we not setting our minds, you know, well enough to actually make this country work <laughs> as Nigerians, not as a nation, but as a people? Our music is taking over the world. Everywhere you turn around the world now, you're seeing Afrobeat. We have people coming into the country to set up businesses, you know, to to create employment, to do all sorts of things. But we Nigerians as a whole, we also have our own issues. We're good people, but where, where, where are we getting it wrong as Nigerians? I want to know. Call in on 0705-993-7937. 0705-993-7937. We are good people as Nigerians, but when are we getting it wrong? Where do we get it wrong as a people? What is wrong? you know with us you know what do you like about nigerians what are you proud of about the country what are you not proud of what do you what would you like to see differently you know as a nigerian people what would you like to see differently you know you look all around you what would you like to see oh i want to see differently do you want us to obey more traffic laws because i check sometimes we do not obey traffic laws or do you want less you know online scams or do you want Nigerians to be less religious or sentimental? You want Nigerians to, to reduce the bribes that they take or stop, you know, taking bribes? Do you want Nigerians to, you know, knock down on the insecurity? I know, yes, the, the, the security firms and organizations that are there to perform. But again, don't forget that those organizations also are, people are the ones running those organizations. You know, people are the ones running those institutions. You know, people, they are usually still people, Nigerians. <laughs> you know, when you go to the airport and you're, you know, passing all the checks and all that, it's, you meet people, the people there, you know. So what is wrong with the people? What's wrong with Nigerian as, as a people? You know, I also have my flaws as a Nigerian, you know. We like to follow, follow. If this one is breaking the law, we follow and do because there's, no, there's no, nothing really pinging us down. What would you like to see differently, you know, in Nigeria and for Nigerians? Call in on 0705-993-7937. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. And of course, it's time for us to have deep, meaningful conversation on the show. Enough of pointing fingers. So when you want hand is pointing out, the rest of the four are pointing back at you. So yeah, let's, let's, well, today we are, we are analyzing those four hands pointing back at us. I want to know what the problem is or what is what, what what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong we want to celebrate nigerians the people you know we're full of love we are, we are a group of people that are full of love we're so welcoming we're dep we are we have the can do spirit we have the never give up spirit we have the you know the, the determination the grit you know the 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 wit and the grit to survive anywhere in the world i was speaking to someone the person you nigerians can survive anywhere in the world and i i actually quite agree anyways let's take our first caller for today hello hello hi good evening deborah waters abubakar how are you she is fine ah this is happy <laughs> independence to you abubakar it's been a minute <laughs> You did not even hear my answer, and I said she is fine. <laughs> and now you have become she. I didn't. You didn't tell me that you have transitioned now. <laughs> <laughs> well done, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've not been around. I've been traveling. Good to know. I hope you've been making all the money. <laughs> yes, now. Okay. I'll come and give you your own. Maybe by Wednesday. Ah, okay. I'll send my account number to you. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Well done, eh? Okay, I'm even happy okay. you're the one calling today. Your, so, yeah. your issue today uh, is a critical one. Hmm. Nobody will ever call you to tell you the truth. Tell. I'm telling you honestly. Because when you want to say the truth, definitely you are going to call people's name 
and which is not allowed on air. You understand? We know where we got it wrong. You understand? Anybody that at least studies even social studies in this country, you will know. So, like myself, I just call to tell you this. Because most of our problems started at least, I think, from that 1966, later between 76 to 79, which caused, uh, was it, uh, austerity? Just like we had this uh, recession. And there was a problem Nigeria had again from 1985 down to 93 again. So these are the issues. A lot of people know. But who, which person name are you going to call? The 90% of people in the government now, right now, who were not there in 1999. But they are still getting it wrong because they believe what the people ahead did. They have to do there. I think you see. So for this, we don't manage everything we have. Everybody would just like to come. You take your own, you go. You come, you enrich yourself, you go. Mm. So that is it. So I will, not, I, will not, I will say more than this because it will cause problems. This is on air. It is not allowed to call people's name. But when we are discussed, maybe one on one, people will understand. So that is it. Okay, I hear you, Abu Bakr, right? I know you said yeah. you don't want to call names and the government and all that. But don't you think we as a people, we also have our own issues? It is, not, it is not those people that uh, maybe from, you know, just like an orientation. It is what we have from that people that is it is like a kind of track. You understand? Just like they say, you should train your child very well. Those people, they did not train us well. <laughs> you understand? You understand? So they now show us how to use money, <laughs> how to accumulate money that does not belong to us. Then we live a extravagant life. You understand? So that is our problem. Check all our everything, everything in this country. Nothing is working. So if they do not train us, if they not train us, why we not train ourselves? How can you train yourself? How can you train yourself? Okay, okay, very good. Now, thank God, you, they, I think, you are not working with the government. Like, people that are working with the government now, they are collecting maybe 25 or 30,000 naira, minimum wage. Look at the way they are coming out to cry every day. Up till now, I think th there is no increment yet. But look at the price of things. It's increasing every day. And that is why I've told you that the people... The people right, in the, right now in the government, 90% the of them were not there in 1999. You understand? So this same man, see, I would, see, let's forget it. Because if I start now, it will cause a lot of problems. You understand? So, and anybody that comes that wants to correct that, that person will not last. So, but... There Interesting. are ways. Nature can intervene. Let us okay. not come Abu Bakar, you've made yeah, your point. Man. Thank you so much for calling. Uh -huh. And happy, yeah, happy you. independence to you. And you too. <laughs> oh wow, Abu Bakr. You know, I don't know why he's um, trying to censor everything he wants to say. This is a place where we actually have a biased conversation. I know we're on the radio and all, but we're also free of judgment. We know that there's no insulting, but this is where we actually speak the truth, and we don't condemn or you know a bias or anyway so feel free to share your truth if you think this is what is wrong i've asked abu Akar some valid questions and the and one thing i know about us as nigerians is that anytime we ask we we know how to point fingers we can point fingers point fingers we point fingers oh it's the government oh it's the local government oh it's the federal government is and the truth is when you give us opportunity to enter that same government we will do what exactly the government are doing so what are we saying how are we even better away away from also the bad the, the, you know the, the bad part of nigerians don't forget we're also celebrating our good part we also have good part as nigerians so yeah feel free to share that too let's take another call hello hello Okay, the number to call is 0705-993-7937. 0705-993-7937. We're speaking about Nigeria at 63. And we are taking the putting the spotlight on Nigerians, the people, you know, and we have we have the good, we're friendly, we're loving, we're resilient, we are hardworking. 
but all those things don't come to play especially in this part of the world world but when we're in diaspora you see us you know shining we are all we want to jackpot we want to leave the country as much as as possible you know why 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 again i know there's the gov part of the government but as we're putting the spotlight on nigerians as the people today so call in on 0705-993-7937. 0705-993-7937. Be a part of the conversation. Um, Mohammed, uh, Abu Bakr said, <laughs> Abu Bakr said that the government are supposed to train us. <laughs> that we did not, that it did not train Nigeria. <laughs> That's still quite funny to me. What are your thoughts on that? Let's take another call. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Allah Allah. Thank you so much for calling. Same to you. Same to you. Thank you. You know, you know something that is wrong in this world. You know that you don't have to do that in something like that. I can't do something like that. Let's say that we talk about our income before. That we are the, we are the farmers. That we are using cocoa, have we? Mm -hmm. uh, we have not turned to farmer that is, that is producing food, have we? Mm -hmm. uh, we need that word, that is this soda. I think that the problem of the thing that is already on the Nigeria side, we are a big brother. We see ourselves, any of our ruler, leader in this Nigeria, we will never see any of their children. And when everybody is just go there, let me just carry my own thing. Let's, for my, for my 10th generation that is coming, for them not to talk about. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to teach, they will not do anything. That is the truth. They don't, they don't come to do anything. And when you are in the nation of Nigeria, that you hope in government, you hope of people is hopeless. Uh, people, will, people will put their hope in another thing. And in another thing that people are putting their hope now, there is no hope here. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's the other thing they're putting their hope in? Um, I got to say, let me tell you something like this now. Like, let's see much of, of this kind of our uh, religion now. You make, you make mention in Oh, like that. that makes sense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like this country now, you are a religious country or something like that. Hmm. Don't do this, don't do that. Leave those people. Politics <laughs> is that easy. <laughs> leave it for God, leave country. it for God. <laughs> and leave it for God. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, like one of these young bad people now, if they say something is God, let me just pray, let me see money by us. You don't see it. Have it? Interesting. Now we are in with that. Interesting. Since when we are small, we will be thinking we are the leaders of the morning. <laughs> and we will never see any one of the fathers tell his students that, ah, when I'm in school, I'm a total this, I carry like a thing position or something like that. Every person they always get the fed. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. No peace at all. Uh -huh. Everybody is a liar. Hmm. People don't make no peace even though if you are in the same street with all this, around, you will do the same thing. I don't know, that's our mentality. Hmm. Yeah, the only thing that can make the idea work on that, the way they are, they are using prime minister that time, they can go back. That's what you can make the idea better or something like that. Hmm. I think that's my own something. Interesting. Well said, Olawale. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, yeah, okay. Interesting points made there. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that really hit deep. Uh, we, he said, we, we literally, when we go back in time, we're actually all liars. Because I remember my growing up, too, my dad used to tell me that it's first that he used to get. My mom, too, said she used to get his first first. So that means I would get my own first, too. You know, and as simple as that sounds, that's, that's the beginning of corruption right there. That's the beginning of lying right there i know i know some motivational people will come and tell you no you should, um, aspire to tell them what you want them to make or whatever but that's that's the root right there 
Thank you so much, Olawale and Abubakar, for making your point. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters, and we are celebrating Nigerians as the people, you know, at 63. We're trying to dive deeper to see what's right and what's wrong. We're beautiful people. We're, we're accommodating people, people who come into this country to say how, how, you know, awesome we are. We never lose our sense of humor. We love to have... You know, beautiful debates. We are intelligent. We are determined. We are competitive. We are huge learners. You know, we we don't we don't say never. We never say never. We 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 move on quickly. We bounce back. But could this bounce back also be a problem? The way we move on quickly. Um, Olawale said we are also religious. We are very religious people. And he made mention of something about oh, we're looking for something to put our hope in. So if we cannot put our hope in our in our government, we we'll definitely put our hope in God, right? Does that is that the reason why Nigerians are quite religious? Is being a religious country does it help us or does it not help us? This is what we are having today on the show and more. Feel free to join the conversation. Call in on 0705-993-7937. I'll take another caller before we go on this break. Hello. 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 Hi, good evening. Hello. Are you there? I can hear you. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for calling. Happy Independence. Uh, same to you. Yeah, so I'm talk to me. I'm from Lagos. What's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel from Lagos. Yeah. Thank you so much, Emmanuel, for calling. Happy independence. Thank you. Same to you. So please share your thoughts. Um, adding to what Adewali said. Okay. You know, religious and all of that. Yeah, it's true. Or I feel they're doing everything they're supposed to have done before. Now, like at the wrong time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who are you talking about? The the government? Yeah, the government. And we ourselves are not helping. Mm. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. So we're not helping. So we know we're not helping, you're right. Uh, but what do you mean by we're not helping? We are not helping ourselves to move forward, mm. you know. How, how do you think we can help ourselves to move forward? Everything that is happening, you know, I know price has gone up, but some people do things extra. Like? You know, in the in the marketplace now, some people say I got right, 55, 60k. Hmm. Even when, when, when now, it's not even up to that? It's not up to that, at hmm. least. It's not up to that. So, why, why do you think they're doing that? Because of greed or what? Yeah. Because we want to take from our, from our fellow people and and survive. Actually, yeah. Interesting. So, so Emmanuel, do you, are you doing better as a person, as a Nigerian? Are you? How are you trying to be the yeah. best best version of a Nigerian that you are? As in coming out to expose to the world, I'm trying, you know, doing doing my thing my way, you know. How? How are you trying? Um, Hello? I'm here. I'm here with you, Mano. I want to know how you're trying to be a better Nigerian. You know, for myself and my family, at least I am blessed with three kids. And, you know, I'm, I'm dealing... Everything will not minding about the country, you know. Interesting, Emmanuel. Thank you so much for calling and for sharing. You pressure too much now. Okay. You want to put, you want to put mind for country. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> With pressure. <laughs> if you want to think about country, like this, looking at the president alone, his speech yesterday, he was so so sick. This 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 no being faith there. You get it was so down, like the pressure saved not too much for anybody. <laughs> so at least maybe I still leave the man on, on, on another point. But you know what what I feel is they are doing the right thing at the wrong time, you know. Hey, I should just take deep. time, take time and work on things. 
He entered. He didn't even reach two weeks. Well done, start out. Interesting. Wow. That hit deep. Thank you so much, Imano. Appreciate it. Yeah. Right. Imano says we're doing the right thing at the wrong time. Good government and people. Ladies and gentlemen, this show is getting deeper and deeper than I thought. So we'll go on this break right now. When we get back, more conversations on Nigeria at 63. And we're shining the spotlight on Nigerians, the people, not the nation, not the government, but Nigerians as the people. What are we doing right or wrong as Nigerians? I'll have a guest, a special guest join me after this break. Hey guys, guess what? From April 19, 2023, Silverbird Television will now be found on channel 121 on GoTV. Yes, that's right, we're swapping channel numbers. So, if you use a GoTV decoder, don't forget to scan channel 121 and keep it locked on Silverbird Television. If you own a DSTV decoder, then not to worry, because Silverbird Television still remains on channel 252 on DSTV. Whatever decoder you use, you're still guaranteed the best news, sports, music, drama, and general entertainment shows. Silverbird Television, it's about entertainment. Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. The winner of the title Miss Universe Nigeria 23 is Miss Imo. Now you're the first ever Miss Universe Nigeria, wearing the first locally made crown in Nigeria. How do you feel? I feel blessed. She says she feels blessed. Good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, world. Welcome to your seaside radio station. We're Rhythm 93.7, the number one hit music radio station. We're number one in music, number one in entertainment, number one in sports. Many of you will like the start of a new day <laughs> or the rush that comes with a new day. If you're looking for great fun, intelligent conversations, and entertainment stories, we've got great music, great content, great interviews with all the amazing artists that you can think of. So, you do not want to miss out on anything. Stay with us, there's more to come. This is Rhythm 93.7. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Number one. Hit music station. Rhythm 93.7. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. And there we are right in the middle of the deep, getting ready to shake even more waters out. On the topic, Nigeria at 63, we're shining the spotlight on Nigerians, the people, Nigerians, the people, you know, what, what makes you so proud of Nigeria? Why are you so proud of Nigeria? Why do you like Nigerians? What do you like and what you do not like about Nigerians as the people, you know, what would you like to see Nigerians, you know, do differently or change? Do you want to see us obey more traffic laws? Do you want to see the, um, and um, what do you call it? Um, the street urchins and the um, Agbero boys, you know, stop collecting money and all that. What would you like to see differently about this country called Nigeria and Nigerians as the people? Feel free to join the conversations. Call in on 0705-993-7937. It's Nigeria at 63, special episode with Deborah Waters on Deep Waters. I have a special guest with me. Like I said in the studio, Ah, she's a corporate communication specialist, uh, a polygot, a public speaker, 
a diplomat in the making, a voiceover artist, a podcaster. The name of a podcast is called The Spies and a political observer. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very smart and witty, opinionated Osari Me Abienefe. <laughs> I don't get the pronunciation, <laughs> God help me. No, you, you tried. I tried. Try, 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 try. Good to have you in the studio. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much for coming on, on this holiday that you're supposed to be resting and chilling. You decided to come and grace up with your exactly. presence and your knowledge. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank yeah, so Osari, you are, you are Osas. Let's just wait, Osas. Okay, that's you are You are a true Nigerian. Uh, but I, I believe one time they used to say lazy Nigerian youth and all that. Like, are you a lazy Nigerian? <laughs> I'm not a lazy Nigerian. <laughs> I'm not a lazy Nigerian youth. I think that perception or opinion was just coined from I, I don't know how to put it. It was just a fake that wasn't even in existence, you know? Because why would you say that Nigerian youths are lazy? But it's from sentiments. Are we lazy? No, no, we're not. I could mean, you could it be that if it's supposed it's from the perspective of you know some of these things, you see all these like and street urchins. Some of them you come to park your car and they just literally expect that you give them money. Like for nothing. Okay, so I think that the scenario of agoros, there, there are ups and downs in all societies. I mean, there will be the good and the bad. So the agoros are part of the bad, which can actually be curbed or even stopped. You know, that's dependent on the government, um, restrictions, laws and rules that we put in place. And they're just people to, you know, really practice these things, uh, not just um, on the face value. So, yeah. Fella once said Nigerians are suffering and smiling. Do you think that we actually want to suffer and smile? Uh, so we do not want to suffer and smile, but huh. I just think that Nigerians are very resilient to <laughs> to challenge. Are you sure we don't want to suffer and smile? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're eh? just very resilient. We are very we 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 embrace tenacity. You know, we're just very um very strong willed we have grit and weed we just believe strongly in it to be better someday there's this is that a future. good thing or a bad thing it has it has good and bad sides i mean the good side is you know we keep pushing for a better tomorrow mm -hmm. but the bad side is just that we neglect the fact that the future is actually yeah the future starts from now you mm. know um you can't just say that tomorrow will be better but we're doing nothing or absolutely nothing to make tomorrow better so are you saying that we're doing nothing, absolutely nothing to make tomorrow better as Nigerians? Uh, I won't be honest. Say, yeah, you know, honesty. We're we're not we're not. I, I won't say we're doing nothing, but I would just say that we need to do better. What are we doing? <laughs> Surface value. I mean, people are trying. As as you. All we are doing is literally living for ourselves individually. Every one of us, we're just trying to survive on our spaces. We're trying to look for the next meal, send our uh, this uh, kids to school. But we never look out, literally look out for our, our other Nigerians. And I think that that, that, that was got that's just gotten from the the the, the where the government has placed us as Nigerians. You know, it's a different ballgame if the government is supporting individuals, the system. But when you're not getting support from this from the government as we should, it just makes everyone have that mentality of survival of the fittest. We're in a jungle. Everybody's just scouting for what to eat, what not to eat. You know, it's just. But we know that Nigeria will get better someday. Okay, now you're sounding exactly <laughs> like a true Nigerian. <laughs> we leave it for God. Exactly. We trust in God. Yeah, exactly. We hope Nigeria will get one day, and then we continue to focus on our personal lives. We don't look out to our neighbors. In fact, we, in fact, if we have businesses, we create businesses to take from our from fellow people, Nigerians. Well, we take, you know, somebody called in earlier and says that, oh, bag of rice, usually, you know the price of bag of rice. But some people, because of the situation, they added more money. Yes, and, and some people are suffering to, to get, to get that, access. That's, that's the spirit of extortion we have in Nigeria. Spirit of extortion. <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you. I buy them in spirit of extortion. <laughs> because, I mean... You, you sometimes see that, okay, a price of maybe tomatoes is, should be this certain price. And then you want to inflate the price. Let's assume you want to make profit. There's something we call profit, which should be done in business. But then there, when it's way above profit margin, I, I feel like that's extortion. And what you, like, like you rightly said, that's the scenario of not helping or looking out for your neighbor. 
you know. So okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know that maybe our government might not be at the might not have been the best, but we as a people we are not even doing better. That is the the absolute truth. Yes. And how how can we actually cross that bound? How can we start to do better as individuals? Are we going to keep you know following that footstep where okay, everybody every man for himself? Oh, and the government don't care, so I don't care. And then you don't care about your fellow man. You don't care about extorting. You know you don't care about you know looking out for your fellow man. And you know guess what? Uh, one day one day. The, the the daughter of your fellow man is going to marry the son, the son your own your son of your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going to happen exactly, eventually exactly. feel free to join the conversation you have thoughts and comments and opinions on the topic for today nigeria at 63 we're shining the spotlight on nigerians the people what are we doing right and wrong we already established every time we talk about it we also say ah, the government are the, the government the government what about the people let's talk about us and what we can do better as individual they say if the Moses Moses will not go to Mohammed, let Mohammed go to Moses. Absolutely. Daddy. Yeah. So join the conversation, calling us 0705-993-7937. 0705-993-7937. Now, this jackpot syndrome going on okay. in the country. Would you, would you, what would you say is the reason? I know, yeah, we're already saying well, the country is not working. That's why we're re literally jackpotting. Is, is jackpotting literally, are you, are you planning on jackpotting first? Um, in all honesty, hey, I, I can't <laughs> believe this. <laughs> the no, so there's, 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 there's this, there's the, the, there's the zeal to want to explore other countries and you know just have a feel of what's going on outside your home country. But then again, I, I, I believe strongly that the reason, the major reason why most persons are jack buying, you know, is just for a better future, and that's with the hope that uh, when Nigeria is better, they may come back or they never will come back or return to Nigeria. Uh, but I don't think that's a first-hand solution to what's really going on in the country. And then I, I want to add that there's, a, there's, a, there's something that I, I want to, you know, put it out there so that people can, um, I, I hope that the government will take, you know, this into, into consideration. We need to understand that certain things are going wrong um, because certain people in certain places, maybe they shouldn't be there, maybe in governance, the executive body, judiciary, legislative, and all of that. If we can try to um, do a background check on these people before they get into power, I think it would curb um, the, the war of corruption that we have been fighting since God knows when, you know. So it's just... It's but just, the truth is that corruption is not really up there anymore. Corruption is down there. That's, that's what, it's just, so the, the thing is, even if, either up or down, I mean, for, for a ladder, it starts from maybe from the top to middle to bottom it just still boils down to everybody being accountable for 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 themselves you know so if for instance i'm, I'm not in government and i feel like the government is doing something wrong but then I'm, I'm taking one way when i'm driving but then i'm 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 making i'm trying to extort my neighbor but then i'm not even going by common laws put in place for just common people then how then can the country get better you know so i just i just know that we all have a role to play in moving our country oh, to a better God, place. It sounds just. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a we typical did, Nigeria. We, 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 we all uh, have a role to play. So I do mean, you think we don't have the the, the capacity? Because look at now, and eh, we we actually when we come together, there's a lot of force that we have. Look at when the Guinness Book of Record thing was going on and all that, and different people from all around across the state were just sprouting up and just doing. It was even the Guinness Book had to say that. This particular tweet was the most liked tweet or something yeah. by Nigerians and all that. I know that when we come together and put our minds to something, and we can do it. So this thing that I saying, we're fighting corruption, we're doing this. Are you? Is it? Could it be that we're not just ready yet to take to be happy, to be completely happy, you know, to stop suffering? Could it be that we are not there yet to be? To, because if we are, and it, it looks like sometimes we just come out, we push small, they yeah, all will run back. back. We push a bit, we run back to And then everybody's just really scared of uncertainties. You know, like uncertainties like fear of what if I overdo these things and then something comes back to hit me? What if tomorrow it comes back to bite me in the tail? What if you know and that's 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 where I, I believe that we all have a role to play. Every Nigerians are very good at at, at how do I put it? We're good at driving a force, driving something, ensuring that something we is are good done. at. We are starting, we do a start saying, we want to start this <laughs> campaign. We can we start. start, but okay, you let's, know, get to the let's get justice to the finish from Obad. 
you know. Let's get to the finish line. But once we start like this, just like all those uh, investors, investors, I mean, people that start business, they just start and run, we run, run back. back. Or even start to make some money out of it and then just let it go down. You know, so I, I, I feel, aside the starting, we also need the energy to be united. Because even in unity, you still find out people that are laid back and, and they're like, oh, I beg, I beg, it's not my, not my, it's not my issue. Yeah, even Jesus, out of 12, we had the one do that. So all of these things, they, they, they find, they find, it, they find ways to still, you know, just make issues worse or even escalate the issue. Ladies and gentlemen, join the conversation. I have with me my special guest in the house, Usas, podcaster, voiceover, chairs, political observer, public speaker, and more sharing her thoughts on the topic. Nigeria at 63, and we're sp shining the spotlight on Nigerians, the people. What are we doing right or wrong as a people? I mean, yes, uh, so far we've been celebrating Nigerians and our, our can do spirit and all, but we're also trying to look at what are we doing wrong as a people, not as a nation, as a people, as a government and all. Yeah, so feel free to join the conversation. You have comments and thoughts, you agree with Ustaz, you have contrasting opinions. I saw calls earlier, so feel free to call in because the show is going to end in the few. We're on the last segment of the show, so feel free to call in to share your thoughts and opinion. Maybe we can learn a few or one, a, one, a thing or two from it. So call in on 0705-993-7937. 0705-993-7937. Oh, so, um, Let's talk about maintenance culture in Nigeria. Why is our maintenance culture just very bad? And this is beyond as a country, okay, um, oh, maybe we're not doing um, uh, health care and all this. Some of us in our houses, mm -hmm. our small, small maintenance culture is, <laughs> <laughs> is terrible. Something has spoiled. We'll go live out there. We'll, like, let's take this call before we continue. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay, all right, please do well to call. Please call in when you're ready to speak, and the number to call is 0705-993-7937. So, yeah, I was speaking about our maintenance culture, <laughs> and you will see buildings and all that. Those are even very, we're taking it very far. Uh, when we come back to our houses, our small families and all, things don't spoil. And we look <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I beg. <laughs> this is a weak meal. Why? Why? Why are we like that? What would you say is the reason? So, even I'm going to share. Um, so, even for instance, you have a, a tenant, you have a landlord and a tenant. Something gets bad, the tenant will tell you, Oh, I can't fix it. Oh, I'm not the landlord. Let's wait for the landlord. Sometimes the landlord is not even in the country. So I think it's just, it just, it's just Nigerians being nonchalant and selfish and greedy. Because if you're not, and then maybe the heart of man is wicked. Because if you're not wicked, why would you why would you say that something is bad? Maybe for instance, uh, something is uh, whatever it is that the government has put in place to make the nation better. You realize that it's bad and you're making it worse. So as 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 little as littering, you see people littering everywhere, and then you know that government government has put in place agencies, bodies to take care of the environment. But instead of you to do justice by having that thing, put it somewhere you can put in a trash bin, trash can. No, Nigerians would rather throw it somewhere in the in in the drainage, just on the roadside. It's, it's terrible. How, 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 what, what do you think you can do to actually? Maybe you know, we should all carry canes with one people on. That's my vote for you. On the road, there must be laws put in place, actually. And then maybe mindset sometimes. You know, <sighs> mindset. That I mindset thing, eh? It's a it's a very critical. It's yeah. it's, it's, it's a key. But how do you get into the minds of, of people? people? And it's not something that they hear once, something that they it have to, hear, to hear consistently, see consistently. And then people around you have to resonate the same. Because, I mean, if, if, if I'm working on the road, walking on the road, and then I see someone throw something, I throw something, and then someone says, oh, that's, Madam, pick it up now. It would dawn on me like, oh, okay. But you throw something, nobody's even telling you to stop because the person does even worse things than that. So it's just... Do you think religion has a, a huge part to play in all of this? Because as someone was saying that, so a caller said that, um, we're very religious, and because we cannot put our hope in, in God, we put our hope in, and so if we cannot, because we cannot put our hope in the Man, government, mm -hmm. we now put our hope in God. So everything now becomes, ah, God do. Now God, now really God do. Do you think religion has a part to play in all of this? Okay, so I know for sure that Nigerians are very... How do I put it? Religious centric, if that makes sense. 
Um, I, I think one, one, one thing that is even making us fall apart is, um, I, I, believe, I believe in religion, I believe in God, but I know that even religion is not enough and will not take us to where we're going to. You know, it starts, I, I believe strongly that it has to do with the mindset. First, your mindset has to be positive. It has to be that, okay, certain things have, have to be done right. And then added with whatever religion you practice, you know, to make it better. But if you only stick to religion, or oh, um, God, God will come down. God is not going to come down. He's going to use we men to do things that are better for us. So in a situation like, oh, everything around us is not helping our mindset. You already said the mindset is key. Everything around us is not helping our mindset. Uh, our government are not the people around us one the people some people will even tell you um oh don't do as i say or don't do as i do do, do as, as, as i say, say. <laughs> you know and, oh, and that's what most of us yeah. even religious people will say ah yeah, do this do this do this but they will go back and, and do, do worse the worst or something else yeah. so i'm a nigerian so i know nice. that everything around me doesn't you know you know resonate what is supposed to resonate and i want to be a good nigerian i want to be a better nigerian as a person you know I, I i can't control i can only control what no, i do sorry. and what's around yeah. me i can't control what other people do and what the government even does mm. what what can i do as a person okay so i feel like um there's something called uh, dissemination of information right so if for instance you're unable to you you're, you're, you're you have a, i have a mindset that okay this is how things something should be done and all that one key step i can take to change whatever it, sector i find myself in is to inform people about it okay i i know that for instance like i said some weeks ago i have come to realize that one key fact one key thing that we can you know utilize or leverage on to uh, make people in government or select people in government is a background check i mean <coughs> I, I don't want to say certain things on here mm. but i know that if we had done a background check on certain persons they will not be in power as to speak uh, it's not about people, they do background check. Oh. It's just that do, they do, have been paid <laughs> to quiet and be quiet on the background is check. Is the background check done diligently? Are they, is it done by <laughs> professionals? No, let's look into these things, you know. Hmm. So I, I just feel like if we're able to practice what is right, and as adults, so even children, you get to a certain age, you get you get to a certain age, you know what is right and what is wrong. I, 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 get, I, I hear you loud and clear, but I also think it also comes down to our individual purposes and as to just know that, see, even though if I know that if I'm doing wrong, right, I'm doing wrong, I know, I know that most likely I, if I break the laws in this part of the world, yeah. I won't be punished, I can get away with a lot yeah. of things. But it just, it just, um, it just means, it, it goes to say that your higher self or your, your, the best version of yourself, your what exactly, yeah. what would your... I think what well, personally I would do is so what would the, my best self do if I want to be if I want to live my best life you know that means for every action and things that I do I'll try to live my best self in all mm -hmm. of this so if you know I, I was to be exposed and oh I'm to be judged for anything I did would, would I be ashamed of myself for that action or not yeah. sadly I hope that conversations like this can help our mindset a mindset change or ignite our mindset unconscious our conscience. <laughs> okay, I think our conscience is dead. Yes. Too. Conscience is long gone. Oh, Christ. So, our uh, conscience, mindset and conscience, I mean, they're... Because if, if certain persons have conscience, or they have that good conscience, uh, but there's good <laughs> and bad conscience, too. So, if you have good oh. conscience, it means you would, there are certain things that will not just be done. And you know the thing about conscience, then? Once you do that, you have your conscience, and the thing pricks you, mm -hmm. and pricks you, and you keep doing that bad thing over and over again, the conscience dies. Yeah, because, because it's, it's controlled by it's even <laughs> controlled by you. you your yeah. conscience doesn't con control you. You control it. you. It Never. dies and you don't have you don't feel it anymore. Never. It becomes. Never. It's really a mindset change. I I hope we're able to you know listen to conversations like this and you know ignite ourselves and just know in our hearts that you know it just pays at the end of the day to be good in this part of the world. On earth. <laughs> On earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Osas, for coming. How can people find you on social media, uh, find your podcast and all that? Okay, so the name of my podcast is The Spice, T-H-E-S-P-I-C-E. -E and it's a spicy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm on Instagram at I am Osarime. Osarime is spelled O-S-A-R-I-E-M-E-N. 
All right. Put me and, and I'll pull her back. Ah, definitely. So, yeah, you can reach out to Osa. She's a political observer, a voice of our teeth, a media personality, podcaster, and more. So, yeah, if you want to, you know, start conversations with her and listen to her podcast, please reach out to her on social media. To you, my callers and listeners for today, thank you so much for calling. To all my callers, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I want to do like a 1K Independence Day airtime giveaway. Abubakar, Olawale, who else called? Um, Emmanuel, please do also reach out to me on social media. Deborah underscore waters. Deborah without the O and waters, the water that you drink with the S. Happy in Independence to you. And I hope that this conversation is able to ignite something within you. It's not about saying, oh, that there's nothing to celebrate. How about we look within and see the little things that we can mm. celebrate about the mm. country? And ourselves. Thank you so much for listening and watching for myself and Ostas. Thank you. Bye bye.